Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over how you might use headings or headlines for a web page. So I've got a basic page set up here, and it's one I uh, started creating a little bit earlier, my blue page, and it's doesn't have much on it. I do have a header section and within that header section I have my H1 or headline 1 element or heading 1 element depending on what you want to call it. And there's six basic levels of headlines. There's H1 through H6 and you can use these in a number of different ways but I'll encourage you to use them in the in the way or ways that I demonstrate here. And you want to consider these headlines to really be descriptive of the page and its content. They'll describe exactly what the user is about to read or see. And you should consider these numbers as rankings. Therefore, I'm using H1 up here because it is the title or headline of my web page. It is the text which describes what this web page is about. Now, that doesn't mean that I might not have other things on this web page. And there's a couple ways we could go about this. So I want you to kind of just imagine for a second that this page, this blue page, it's got a number of different sections. And each of those sections has its own headline. and I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to uh, duplicate this. So now my web page has multiple sections and it's also got multiple head or it's got multiple headings on the page, but each section has its own H1. This isn't actually wrong. Um, it's not really my preference, but it's uh, it's semantically correct. So the H1 for our web page, well, for the body of the page, for our header is blue page and then each of our sections has its own headline one and that still kind of identifies that one heading is more important than these others but since we might clarify and since we might want our visitors to understand that these are subsections of our web page then it would be a little bit more accurate to change these h1s into h2 so I'm going to do that really quick here with a replace Actually, I need to do a change this out with a one, and I will uh, in selection replace all close. There we go. So I like this use a little bit better. Our H1 is only used once on this web page, and it's reserved for the main header of the page. We're using H2s for the section head headlines, and using multiple H2s is perfectly fine because I'm indicating that each of these headings is of equal importance on the web page. Equal importance. Now within this section I might have other pieces of information also like a subsection heading and I could follow this up with a paragraph of text and then there could even be another subsection heading with more text so it kind of creates a very big outline for your web page and I think that's probably the safest way to work with your headings. If you've used the H group element, you want to avoid using that now. It was it came out with HTML5 but then was uh, um, it was removed from the uh, from the recommendation. So H group was a short-lived element and you also don't want to use H2s for um, subheaders anymore. So if you've been doing that or subtitles basically. So if I had blue page up here and I wanted to create a subtitle for my page, I shouldn't actually use the H2 and instead I should go with something a little bit more like a paragraph because an H2 once again is kind of describing a subsection of the page, not the best use for a subtitle. So I might do a paragraph and give it a class of subtitle and then I could style it appropriately. Now I do want to show you a couple uh, websites here where this is being put to use. I kind of like how Amazon is, is doing this page and this is a web page on uh, obviously socks. Let me turn on my firebug utility here and I'm in inspect mode which means I can mouse over different parts of the web page and I can see what the HTML is being used to create that. So if I scroll over this text we can see down here in the bottom portion highlighted in blue this is a headline one. So Amazon is using this as a headline one and it makes perfect sense because this page is all devoted to this one product. It's a tube socks or a knee-high socks. So the H1 is given this 
prominent location. It is the page, and in fact, it's even the title of the page. You can kind of barely see it up here in my, um, my tab title. So that's an H1, the most important heading on the page. Now, they've got some other important sections on this page, too. Um, customers who bought this item also bought. So they've classified this as a heading 2. This is a, a prominent section of the page. Product description is a heading 2. Customer reviews is a heading 2. Now since they've given each of these headings the level 2 status, we can assume that product description is equally important as customer reviews on this web page. Both customer reviews and product descriptions are subheadings or subsections of this yoga, yoga colors unisex triple, triple stripe sporty knee high star socks page. So I like the way they're using H2s here. And so keep it as simple as possible. Use H1s for headings for your web page. Don't use headings for subtitles. And then for your various sections, use H2s. And if you need to break those down even further, you can use some H3s. Um, and if necessary, you could go further into fours, fives, and sixes, but those tend to be pretty rare on web pages.